Time for the true handyman's lunch. Iced coffee, kosher dill pickle. Mmm, crunchy. Hey, this is for that guy that hates it when I slurp my coffee. Hey everybody, welcome back to Mrs. Rattlecan's house. I am James and this is the week in review number 17. Mrs. Rattlecan doesn't show up very often during the week, but when she does come, she really gives it her all, sometimes at the expense of her personal care. Um, She uh, did quite a bit of priming inside some of the closets that were... um, I think they were probably just packed with clothes for a really, really long time, and there was uh, the beginnings of some goo growing up in there. So we, um, uh, she went ahead and primed those areas with some kills, and uh, a couple of the bathroom linen closets were the same way. And um, when she was getting into the way back, she got some of that stuff in her hair. Now, I will let you know on good authority for Mrs. Rattlecan um, that she actually used grapeseed oil, and that got almost every little bit of that uh, out of her hair. So, it's not often you get uh, hair care tips uh, from me, but there you go, by way of Mrs. Rattlecan. She also continued cleaning heater fins in the basement. She does that a lot. Um... I removed the uh, air handler from the attic, uh, which is not as easy as it sounds. And then I also removed the condenser from the outside. I got most of that done. uh, And we did this in preparation of installing the uh, air conditioner in the next, I don't know, week or so. Uh, Ohio has gone um, batch crazy and it's like 92 degrees and it's supposed to be like that all through the weekend and i'm just not real excited about crawling up in that attic anymore in that kind of uh in that kind of weather i uh i've gotten a sheet of four by eight plywood up into the attic so that we can use that partially as a base for the air handler and also partially as a base for um Uh, for us to stand on as we get stuff working. Uh, I got the replacement re-engineered bracket from uh, from the Utilitech people um, uh, for this re-engineered bracket to hopefully take care of our problems with the laundry room light. The problem is the re-engineered bracket is the same one that's already in the packet. Uh, So then I also worked on getting an enclosure for our whole house fan. Uh, I made that out of 2-inch insulation foam foam board. It gives you an an insulation value of R10. I enclosed the sides of that, and then there's also a um, uh, a cap that's going to fit on the on the top of that. Um, I pulled the dead ivy away from the pine trees. um, And what else did I do? Oh yeah, I worked on the parging. There are some areas that were pulling away over by the foundation. Uh, I used what what uh, what repair cement that I had ran out so I'm gonna have to figure out a just figure out some time to get some more cement and start filling in those cracks because I don't want all that I don't want water getting down uh, in between the foundation and the driveway area uh, anymore um, because then you go through a freeze thaw freeze thaw cycle and that's not good and that's kind of what is going on we're doing a lot of work again with the band and uh, And that takes up a lot of time and uh, we're trying to get uh, we did get a mandolin out of the shop last week trying to get a guitar out I don't think it's it's not tell you it's not gonna happen this week but I need to get some work done on that so anyways that's what's going on Um, be sure to click the uh, the thumbs up for us be sure to comment be sure to subscribe so that's all we got going on thanks a lot guys you have a good one cheers If you enjoyed watching this episode of Mrs. Rattlecan's House, consider checking out this video. 
Be sure to subscribe to us on YouTube and to get the latest updates on our progress, like us on Facebook. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon. Perhaps we should have some wine. <laughs>